Mew, where are we going? We are going to Ningbo. To Ningbo, which is only about two hours on the train from Shanghai. We are going with some of Mew's colleagues who I haven't met yet, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's a nice warm day. I got my backpack and uh, yeah, looking forward to a little adventure. The first thing we did when we arrived in Ningbo was drop off our backpacks at the hotel. We stayed at Ator Hotel, which was very clean and in a great location. I want a pet one. Welcome to our room. So as soon as you get in, you have the mirror and wash basin. We also have the bathroom, toilet, a nice big shower. Very nice. And then through into the bedroom, a big double king size bed a lounge chair, a small desk, and a view of Ningbo. We are on the 15th floor. Over here you can see the building here. And this is the Ator Hotel. Lots of lighting options and wireless charging, which is great if you forget your charger, like me. For the tea station, we have a hot water dispenser. We also have some takeaway cups, bottled water, teapot, and in here, whoop, if I can open it, is the tea, tea biscuits, and some polos. Uh, there were four polos, I already ate one. The toilet is also fitted with a bidet. These are the options. This is my favorite picture ever. Um, personally, Mew and I don't like them. I don't know, the beeping and Whirring just freaks me out a little bit, but yeah, not bad. For lunch, we headed round the corner to one of the most highly recommended restaurants in the city. Seafood is a staple cuisine here, so you should definitely check it out in one of the restaurants whilst you're here. With our tummies nice and full, it was time to take a taxi over to Dongqian Lake. The best way to truly explore this area is by bike. You can rent bike or scooters at Giant. Please pause the video for more details. Makes me miss Xiao Niao. <laughs> We're gonna uh, take the scooter and uh, have a ride around the lake. Yeah, so what, Dong what's Lake. Yeah. Dongchen Lake. When you told me we'd be renting a scooter or a bike, I thought it'd be one of the Alipay bikes. So I'm really happy that it's more legit and we have it. We opted for a scooter so that we'd be able to circle the lake before nightfall. This is around 40 kilometers. So this, to rent this bike, and it's for the two of us, sorry my helmet is so skew it, is 100 kwai for the day which is ridiculously cheap, you know, it's about £12. And we have the freedom then to go wherever we want. 
Traditional communities, we headed around the lake to Hanling Old Street scenic area. The drive in this area was stunning, but I was glad that we had a scooter rather than a bike during the mountainous inclines. After our drive, we headed back into the city centre to grab some dinner.
popular restaurant that we had planned to eat at had a wait time of over two hours. So instead we headed to Show Lab, which has some traditional Cantonese food. After our dinner and a short rest in the hotel, we were ready to hit the Old Bund, the street that has lots of bars and is famous for its nightlife. It should be noted that as this area is so popular, the bars are incredibly expensive. Here, sat outside at the bar that we were at, six small beers cost 400 kwai, which is around 50 GBP. Despite our hotel offering breakfast, we headed out back into the city to try some more traditional Ningbo foods. The famous restaurant where we planned to have breakfast didn't open until 9.40. Luckily, this gave us time to check out Best Cafe, which are famous for their brilliant donuts. The donut was lovely, but the restaurant is now open, so let's head over there and see what they've got. This breakfast restaurant was established in the early 1900s and is a staple breakfast of Ningbo. Ningbo is also famous for its glutinous rice balls. When later reflecting on our trip, Mew said that this breakfast was his favourite part of the entire weekend. After breakfast, we got a taxi over to Moon Lake. 
Moon Lake is also often referred to as West Lake by the locals. We got everything we need right here, wine and burning chemistry, you and me alone. Activity at Moon Lake is to hire a duck pedalo boat. There are many cafes close to the lake, so we headed to MS Color. They had a great selection of dishes, drinks and desserts. Road, you can find the historic Ningbo Drum Tower and the Gulao Pedestrian Street, where you can get some traditional street foods and marvel at the architecture. time to head back to Shanghai. The high-speed bullet train can get you back to Hangzhou in around two hours and only costs around 140 RMB per person. Train is by far my favorite way to travel because I could simply look out the window all day long. Let me know in the comments have you ever been to Ningbo and would you like to visit? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you next week.